Well, we made a forgotten classic. Now let's make a continued classic. Welcome back. And today we're going to create the Singapore Sling. Now, there's a little bit of a misnomer about it. Uh, pink slings have actually been enjoyed for a while now. Uh, the Singapore Sling is actually credited by raffles in Singapore. But there's some question as to the validity of that statement. Some would say that slings, such as pink slings, i.e. the Singapore sling, have been enjoyed since the 1800s before Raffles claimed to have invented it. And as far as a few years ago, uh, people had to find barbacks that used to work at Raffles when it was initially created to try and recreate the original recipe. And I've heard it's not the greatest thing to have. Whereas what we know as a Singapore sling is slightly better. I've never had this, so let's go into it. Need a lime, slice it in half. I need a half ounce of lime juice. Freshly squeezed, if at all possible. And now I need one ounce of pineapple juice. This is dull. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself one dash of Angostura bitters. Need a quarter ounce of cherry hearing. You might remember this from my uh, blood and sand episode. Quarter ounce cherry hearing. Now, the recipe I have says a quarter ounce of Grand Marnier. I don't have Grand Marnier. I have dry curacao. Grand Marnier is a orange liqueur. I'm using dry curacao as the substitute. If you can get Grand Marnier, go for it. If not, dry curacao uh, should work just fine. I would not recommend triple sec because that's a little bit too sweet. Now I need a quarter ounce of Benedictine liqueur. I remember this from... Anyway, a quarter ounce of Benedictine liqueur. And now I need three quarters of an ounce of gin. Uh, I'm going to use Tangeray. You can use anything that you want. I would, uh, Tangeray, Beef Eater, Fords. Uh, a London Dry is fine. No American's fine. Take your pick. Big Rock. Add your cocktail. Go. Grab a Collins glass. Now, if you have Collins spears, use a Collins spear. I don't, so I'm just gonna use four cubes of ice. Now grab Hawthorne strainer. And this time I'm going to, I'm going to double strain this. Here some shards, so just in case. Now, it's not yet done. Carbonated water, seltzer, club soda, whatever. Top off the ice. I don't need this anymore. In fact, I'm gonna put both of these off to the side because now we need to garnish. Cut a wedge out of a wheel of, of uh, orange. Add a, add a Luxardo Maraschino right alongside here and this is a Singapore sling. Cheers. Ooh. Mmm. 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 The pineapple. The pineapple just takes it, but the lime cuts through a little bit. Cuts through the richness of the pineapple. The gin. It's good vehicle for it. The uh, orange liqueur also holds in. Think of it almost like, that's exactly what this tastes like. It's effervescent, but it tastes like fruit punch to me. A lot of pineapple, but you get the orange liqueur, you get the lime, just holding it back slightly. The gin plays well. The uh, orange, the orange and cherry just give a little bit of a good garnish and nice uh, aromatics as you uh, go in. The gin's a good base. This is a, a tasty cocktail, I have to say. A delightful classic with a Singapore sling. If you like the video, uh, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And also share the video, please. Let other people know that this channel exists. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you want to use any of the barware that I use on this show, from my Collins glasses to the shakers, strainers, anything like that, check in the links down below. Uh, they are Amazon affiliate links. If you make a purchase, I do receive some of the kickback. I appreciate it if you do. If you don't, 
that's cool too. You can find me on my social medias down here. I am on Twitter at Beginner Bar. I'm at on my Instagram at Beginner's Bar. I have a personal YouTube page, youtube.com slash Scott W. Smith. Try to be there every uh, every Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, have a uh, have a good time, play some games, chill out, you know, things like that. It's a little warm here, so I'm just going to have another drink of this. Mm. Refreshing. I love it. And uh, I think that's going to do it for the day. Thank you for watching. I will be back real soon with another cocktail. And this has been The Beginner's Bar.